to be mercenaries. If found guilty, John Harding, Andrew Hill and Dylan Healy could be sentenced to death. North Korean state media say the Russian president Vladimir Putin has called for stronger ties between Moscow and Pyongyang. The KCNA news agency says President Putin sent a letter to Kim Jong-un saying their country should expand constructive bilateral relations. One year on from the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan, the BBC understands hundreds of former staff at the British Council and British Embassy are still in the country. This is despite most of them appearing to qualify for resettlement in the UK. The government says it's working hard to get more people out of Afghanistan. The former British ambassador to the US, Kim Derrick, says the crackdown on women's rights over the last year shows the Western plan for the country went as badly as it could have done. It makes, I'm afraid, the Western withdrawal from Afghanistan look even worse, uh, especially after having spent a trillion dollars on money that was really wasted and lives that were lost um, in a cause that, that no way we didn't deliver. And researchers at the University of Cambridge say they've successfully altered the blood type of three donor kidneys, which could give more hope to people waiting for a transplant. The organs were converted to O-type blood, which can be used for patients of any blood type. BBC News, it's three minutes past three. On BBC iPlayer. We had a good life. It was good. And then we just had a this. An unforgivable crime. A deranged woman kidnapped my baby. It was just the beginning. I have nothing but regret in my heart for all the pain I've caused. I'm a journalist. I am sympathetic to your case. The secret street keeps. What kind of story are you going to tell about Agatha? Well, it will change everything. Return to the brand new series. Watch all episodes on BBC iPlayer. BBC Radio Five Live. So there are 